Hi guys, um, just a short update on this uh, rework um, hot plate. Remember the power supply case and the ceramic heater that we've got, that's all wired up and ready to go. Uh, main issue was how to just bond this uh, into here like that and uh, and then to seal the edges when they go into the when, when it goes into the PC case. So what I'd found uh, on eBay was some silicon fireproof sealant. Now you can buy small tubes of you know heat proof or heat resistant sealant, but they seem to only go up to around two, two fifty or three hundred degrees. This particular one goes uh, right the way up to twelve hundred degrees centigrade, uh, and in fact, when fully cured, is uh, is fireproof completely, and you can uh, have uh, flames. Uh, on it. Of course that shouldn't be the case <laughs> with what we're doing hopefully. Um, but yeah it remains flexible from minus 40 degrees all the way up to uh, 1200 degrees centigrade so I think that's absolutely perfect for what I need. It's uh, also black as well so should blend in nicely not that I'm too bothered about that. Um, shelf life of only nine months so uh, yeah I expect we'll have to use this fairly quickly um, but yeah so that's uh, that's that silicon fireproof sealant uh, on eBay and I think this was uh, 12 pounds so you know that's not so bad so that's that with a little nozzle uh, the other thing we'd ordered uh, was a uh, PID controller uh, this particular one again from eBay I'll just show you the specs on the end there this is really important with these because in the model number you can see here there are other numbers that make this model number up and each one of them uh, refers to a certain uh, characteristic character oh, I can't even say it uh, a certain feature <laughs> of, uh, of the PID that you've bought and so you do have to be careful of that um, you'll find that although the instructions that uh, it comes with are in Chinese, there you can download the English version uh, from the forum. And in fact, I'll, I'll probably put a download link uh, in with this um, post. As I say, the, uh, the actual instructions here are in uh, Chinese. However, certain key things like the specification you can actually see the table there and that's all in English. But better to have it in uh, uh, all in English and I've just printed it out. It's pretty hard to read the printed sheets uh, but I was just going to refer to this as I explained the, uh, the various differences in these uh, that you can buy. Um, let's just take it out of the wrapper. Right, that's the controls. You've got a set key, uh, up and down. Uh, I'm not sure what that one is there. I'll have to actually fire this up and get it uh, working. But you've got the process uh, value here. So that's the actual uh, temperature at the moment of the hot plate. And then the, the set value, which is our target temperature on the, the bottom display. Again, you have the model uh, and information here. This particular one is uh, a K range and that means it's 0 to 400 degrees C. There are a whole list here of other values. Uh, the K bit, in fact if we look at this model number here, the, um, the C100 is, uh, is irrelevant, that's just part of the, the model number. Uh, but then the next digit, which is the F, uh, sorry, yeah, the F, if you look that up in the table, um, bear with me, C100F, right, the, the F is the control uh, action, and it says that it's PID action, reverse action. Now I have absolutely no idea what reverse action means. And the other option here, you would see a D, and that means it's direct action. Again, I don't know what either of those options do. Um, I'm guessing I'll have to research that. And then the second digit, which in this case is a uh, 
a K, if we then look at the table, K stands for a K-type thermocouple, and then next to that you've got 0, 2, and 0, 2, when you look at the code, that means the temperature range is 0 to 400 degrees C. Uh, then we have an M, which is uh, the control output type. Now again, crucial, it does tell us here, but if you, you know, let's assume this label had been damaged or was missing. Uh, the M means the output uh, type, and again, you've got four choices here. You can have relay output, which is the one we've got. You can have a voltage pulse. Uh, hang on, let me try and read this a bit. I can't actually read that very clearly. Uh, but, but yeah, the, the two choices really for us are relay contact or voltage pulse. Now the relay uh, that will switch and control the voltage going to, uh, to the heater, uh, the current that you can use is just 3 amps. Now ideally I was going to use the solid state relay and I still might. This is enough to power that hot plate but I'd rather keep this as cool as possible uh, so it lasts as long as possible and the only way I can use these relay uh, contact type uh, to power this is if I just connect up a small mains transformer um, so it will be 240 into the transformer and then just a very low voltage uh, coming out. I seem to recall that the solid state relay can accept AC and DC voltages I think from 0 to uh, 30 volts. Um, I haven't got it, oh yes I have, have a look. Uh, oh, actually no that's wrong yeah, it has to be a DC DC voltage, so I'll uh, have to use, if I want to, a little mains transformer uh, and just make up a, a little DC output off of the transformer uh, because this can drive 25 amps when it's got a huge great heatsink on the back. And I think that's better than pushing this to, uh, to its limits. Um, so that was the M, which was... Uh, or relay contact control and then we've got A and N at the end now that stands for alarm 1 and alarm 2 now the A if these were both ends there would be no alarm outputs so we have an alarm in the A position and in this case it's a deviation high alarm again I'm not entirely sure what that's going to achieve if anything for me and then the N at the end is no second alarm. So in this particular one there is no second alarm. Uh, the instructions or the connections are all marked on here and you probably won't be able to see it but just in the sides, each side here, you can see the number of each terminal. This little bezel unclips here, get it on camera, and there's one there and one the other side and this just will then slide off so you could mount this just as it is or you could use this as a template to cut a hole and, uh, and then that just slides in like that better like that yeah so that's it the next stage will be to decide whether I can mount this actually in the case which is uh, in a second let me turn this camera I, don't know, I might be able to mount it I don't think that's focused let me get it focused there you go I don't know, I don't know whether to mount it in the case um, you know near the front or, uh, or what to do with that I might do it separately. Um, so yeah, the next stage will be to get this uh, sealed in place and uh, we'll probably just give it a uh, test fire up on the bench with this and uh, you know, a thermocouple just attached here, pins, uh, 
pins 9 and 10 and we'll just give it a, a, a try out. The, uh, the other thing, when you fire this up, there does seem to be multiple settings that can be adjusted. Um, I'm hoping it will be quite clear um, and it probably, you know, hopefully won't need a lot of setting up. But having looked at the operation sheet here, there's oh, there must be at least 12 parameters that uh, you can adjust um, and what they're called and how you adjust them is not entirely clear so yeah it'd be interesting but uh, yeah I think this was 10 11 pounds from eBay I notice a lot of the cheaper Chinese BGA rework stations seem to have one of these fitted uh, and I'm guessing for the lower heat control and then they seem to have another bigger version or something very similar to this uh, that seems to have memory points that uh, you can step through uh, you know as a profile to uh, to enable correct reflow to be achieved um, but the only type I've seen available on eBay is this sort but it might be interesting to see if we can get the other sort it's almost you know sort of two units in one with uh, with more LEDs and things um, signifying what uh, what stage you're on. So yeah, okay. So just a quick update on that really. And uh, next time we're back, we'll uh, have this uh, in place, all sealed up, hopefully. Um, well, I won't put it in the laptop of the computer case yet. I'll I'll show it to you working under test on the bench. Catch you later.